Right here we have the Viking VK40, British manufacturer, 7.2 kilohertz. You've got a concentric coil. It's got one or two interesting features which I'd like to show you. Let's have a look at the controls. I'll switch it on. As you can see, you've got your disc and you've got your sensitivity. So if I press the menu, you can adjust the sensitivity. You can press the disc. You've got the ground mode inland or you've got beach. Or press again and you're back to inland. Today we'll try out the Viking VK40. Put it over the test bed which I set up earlier. Let's see how it performs on the minim first. No, you haven't got a murmur on the minim. On the Daenerys. Coming through loud and clear. The little thimble. No problem. Penny. If I scrape the surface, because that is quite deep, but obviously look. And now the piece of iron. And what I had done earlier is set up the discrimination on this very high to try and get rid of the iron, but I can't get rid of the iron. But I still pull the others, but you're going to dig iron at the same time. It is, I'm talking deep iron now, not small nails. I'll give you a demonstration of the recovery speed of the Viking VK40. So we've got the nail, and we've got the hammered coin. The discrimination is set to ignore the nail and still pull the hammered coin. And this is the signal with just the hammered coin. Lovely two-way signal. So we put the nail down and it remains for how long it takes for the machine to recover after going over the nail before it can pull the hammered coin. Got your normal sweep speed and then just go across. So that needs to be further back. Try again, normal sweep speed and go across. A little bit further back. And again. A bit more. I think we're going to need a bigger board. Hang on, I'll just move that up that way. Normal sweep speed and go across. Ah! Take it back a touch. No. No. That's the recovery speed of the Viking VK40.